We went in there last time. And please be ready. Hello, today is March 11th and we're here in Vilnius in Cathedral Square celebrating with all the other Lithuanians because today is the restoration of their Independence Day. So basically this is them declaring their independence, withdrawing from the Soviet Union and then restoring themselves as an independent state. So this is a national holiday, everybody has today off and this is the most lively we've seen the city. <laughs> We were warned that because of the ongoing conflict with Russia and Ukraine, it doesn't feel right to celebrate independence when their, you know, their neighbors are being invaded. Have dreams about that cherry tart. Wow, I'm not really a sweets person, but that was that was something else. Twenty nineteen, we're here exploring. And we're exploring these churches and there's one this one right behind us and this one through those trees over there and we got inside one of them and it was Who just is this one it was just completely empty there's also like an old apartment building behind this one that was like full of cats i think that's where that sign was so let's go quickly see if we can do a little little urbex in this church although it's not looking great for us if they're restoring that one well, this one still looks, looks like it has broken windows. The dome is completely rusted. Look, they're just taking pictures. So last time this gate wasn't even locked. We kind of just walked in and walked around the back in the, in the grounds of the church. But it looks like the front gate's locked, so we're gonna look for another way around. It's I don't think we're getting in this time. Yeah, it's not looking promising. If we were real Urbex explorers, we wouldn't let that flimsy, rusty gate stop us, but I'm not really feeling like it's worth hopping a wall and yeah. there's cameras kind of perched on top, so. No. No old abandoned church exploration for us this time. Sad. They had every area kind of blocked off and we didn't want to get deported for trespassing. Let's go try and find something. I could go for a nice kebab. You can always go for a kebab. I do love me a good kebab. <laughs> with babushka everywhere we've been in the baltics we see people eating ice cream even though it's like cold out like i have gloves on i can't open this bag there's always people eating ice cream it's like a, it's a real bag. popcorn caramel drumstick it's pretty good. It's like one euro. Oh, that took me a very long time to open that bag. Later that night. And please be ready to defend your independence every day. <laughs> every European nation has to defend its freedom every day. Because evil is always there. And it becomes stronger if freedom and nations do not pay much attention and don't invest much into fighting tyranny every day. Evil has many brutal faces. I hope you guys could see 
it's all filmed on a GoPro, so <laughs> not really the best field of view and it's dark. I hope the audio came through as well, but it was just a sea of people. It was crazy. Every performance was dedicated to Ukraine and just putting out love to them and all their people. And it was amazing to see the energy of the crowd and I had a great time. I'm glad we went. Yeah, same. It's really cold. I can't feel my <laughs> hands or my feet. So we're going to end it here. We're going to go to Haley's favorite store. <laughs> is it even open? Oh, it is. Okay. And thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.